Okay. So we wanted to um, go over welcome zooms just because of crazy onboarding with this promotion right now with the bonus. Um, so as your teams grow, I find welcome zooms to be really important. Um, it's something that I'm implementing more and more as my team is growing in the downline and because it's really easy to stay close to a handful or two handfuls of people and keep connected. But as they find more people that want to promote underneath them, um, it just kind of quickly expands. And my goal as a leader um, and what I, I mean, maybe I'm biased, but I feel like everybody's goal as a leader should be to stay connected as much as possible and know who's on your team, know who you're reaching out to kind of have an idea of their color, their personality um, in general, and like the things that you relate with them. Um, Cause I don't ever want it to be like strictly work. You know, like if there's an opportunity to reach out and build a connection or relationship outside of work, um, I want to do that. So um, that's kind of like Haley and I were talking as people were jumping in, but like, I never want it to be like, so business cut and dry, like, just all business and no, no, nothing at all. Like I want it to be really personal. I want to get to know people. Um, so like Jordan and I did one yesterday. Um, and I generally open it up with just tell me about yourself, you know, tell me about your family. Tell me if you work a real job, um, you know, a nine to five or whatever you do, um, what does a normal day look like for you? What does your schedule look like? What does your spouse do? Um, because if we're military, so if I can relate on any level with them in, in any other way, like I want to know how to relate. Are you a new mom? How many kids do you have? Do you have no kids? Do you have pets? You know, like just, just basic get to know them questions. Um, I really feel like building a connection and things to, um, just kind of relate to them on whatever level is really important. Um, and I always start out my welcome Zooms that way because that's that's the priority to me is the relationship. And I think you can then compare that to as they're RCMing and getting to know their customers or their promoters, um, the relationship coming first. And so I like to do that when I do my welcome Zooms. Um, and then we kind of go into their why. And usually that is a natural transition because it's their family, it's their job that they don't like, it's their whatever. And then it transitions into their why. Why are they here with Lavelle? Um, why did they need the products? Why did they fall in love with the products? Um, where do they see themselves? What's their goal with this? Um, obviously right now the bonus is, it's pretty much everybody's goal. So, um, that's great. You know, what do you have plans with this? Is this to get out of debt? Is it to get the auto bonus eventually? Is it, you know, what is your goal here? Um, and I usually try to, usually it's a small goal, something that they want to achieve within the next year. And I try to get them to see the bigger picture, you know, um, the potential that they have in doing this and how much it can be a completely life-changing thing to become a promoter. So um, we talk about that. And again, just like, I think it's really important to stay real and raw and keep it natural um, with them. And I'm kind of in this like, do it in a group environment is where I would like to get because the more, especially right now, the more people you've got, the easier it may be to do a group setting um, and that's where the efficiency would come in. Um, but if you can't do that, then just be very intentional in trying to keep it concise and not, um, overwhelming to people because there is, we all know there's a lot of information to be learned. It's a lot. And, um, I think it's mostly important for them to know that they don't need to know everything out the gate. It's okay to have questions. It's okay to ask the same question a hundred times. Um, I will let people know on my team, especially, um, I used to be the person to just give all the answers immediately, just 
here you go on a silver platter and um i think naturally as you develop in your leadership that transitions to have you research the answer for yourself um and if you have and still can't find it i would be glad to help you um so i think from a leadership perspective that is key um so don't just be quick to provide all the answers you know ask if they've looked on trello ask if they've dug through their cloud ask if um they've done things to find that answer first and then not just give them the answer but show them where to find it um so um from there again we just talk about goals and i go into vip and make sure they have a general grasp um understanding wise on what vip looks like what they need to do to achieve it at least in the beginning um and again the trellos and make sure that they know where to find the vip suggested schedule for success um that also helps them if they follow that it helps them get their pioneer set up and all of the stuff that's important and it takes a lot of the work off of you which again takes us back to the official um so are there any ideas Haley? you want to add anything i think the only um the only thing i would really talk to them too is especially if they are not used to how to post um i know one thing that i'm going to talk to my people about when they first onboard is please do not go and find a screenshot of like a basic picture i will help you take pictures like if i have the three steps like i will take the pictures and send them to you while you wait on your new product or you know teach them how to use lightroom or whatever show them how to kind of stand out not just post a generic they found off pinterest picture or they found it on the website or whatever um because there again we share experiences we are different we are not we're going to post this random picture um and expect people to think that this product is worth it because we are the experience like we are a product of our product so if you have new people coming on um if you can any way help them um, maybe they were on a mini and they ordered and they're not you know they don't have their product yet and you were their leader and you have product take a second take the picture for them um, send it to them help them with posts um this is not just your success this is helping them as well especially when you step into a leadership role it's not just you and your business it's you and your downline especially that you're like the people that trusted you to join this business um if they have the passion and the heart and the fire running then you need to be at that same same pace if not a little faster um so that that's all i needed to say yep and i i mean to kind of reiterate that like they are interested in your experience they're interested in the fact that this is changing you and if you can use pictures of yourself or of them um you know just simply showing a dft or whatever um it makes it that more that much more personal and i think that's like clearly what you just said but um yeah it's not a cookie cutter thing it's not us going and finding things on pinterest um or wherever people to um make it seem like it's just a blanket i mean it does fill all of our nutritional gaps but it fills them all in different ways um and i think it's important to make that clear that it's a personal change and it has potential to change them in their own unique way um and sometimes when we use um Kristen so yeah like if you go a lot of people like to go on Pinterest and pull like a um I don't know like it's clearly I not a they find pictures of like many experiences and stuff like that and then they post that picture if you need those pictures talk to your upline or your sideline <laughs> just sometimes you look at stuff and you know that they it's not theirs you know it's it's clearly an image that's been passed around or um it's just not as personal as taking it you holding it or you showing your dft or you talking about 
the energy change and what it's done for you or, you know, sleeping better or whatever. It just makes it that much more personal. And especially when these people know you and they knew the old you, if they're not brand new friends, um, they knew the you before and they'll be able to see the you after, um, you know, if you're not somebody that was always awake and alert and smiling and now you are, they clearly can see that and consistency is key when it comes to stuff like that. So, um, yeah, and, posting, what, go ahead. Um, and definitely in your stories as well. Um, if you're posting, that's one thing that needs to be consistent, um, is you posting your steps and your stories. And I don't mean go and screenshot and crop you know, what step one is or whatever, you know, you can go and put that a picture of you taking your step one and then put that on there, you know, with Canva or whatever. Um, but change it up too. you know, videos, pictures, just don't be pulling graphics all the time because you look like you're making a sale. You don't look like you're sharing an experience. Yep. And when it comes to efficiency, if you can link your Instagram and your Facebook to where you only have to post once, um, but it'll share simultaneously that can help too and save you time so that you're not okay Stephanie I see you so that you're not um, having to do both separate um, that's a great way to save time and effort um, to reach different audiences because you can follow a whole different group on each platform um, so does anybody have questions as far as welcome calls go, how to um, onboard people? Like I said, you can do it in a group setting. Sometimes it's not as personal. Um, I like to kind of three-way chat with them, obviously ahead of time and set up a time that might work for them personally. But um, if I know they've kind of got like a sensitive background or a sensitive storyline that they might not want to share with the whole group then I try to do break off into just a three-way welcome call with their promoter upline and myself um so what is it? ship is still in the way but I found pictures with ingredients and stuff that does just came promoter last night welcome um I'm not sure what to do I made a twitter for this I posted on social media I plan on starting to do lives um Yes, lives with your sponsor, lean into your upline because they have so much information to share with you. And um, who is, Sean, do you, who is your upline? Is it uh, James? I think there's somebody between her and James. I okay. think it's James and then someone and then her. Yeah. I'm trying to listen. My daughter's being in there. I can't hear you. I don't know if it's. Can you type? The audio is not working for some reason. Um, yeah, I think I remember James introducing you last night, though. If I'm not mistaken. Um, he is awesome. He, I know, would absolutely be there and then um if not, i mean reach out to people on the team because people would love to help we are a big team atmosphere we help kind of everybody not just uh where did it go okay okay yeah so uh definitely reach out to james he will absolutely be there to help you um but yeah we're a big team atmosphere like i was saying we we don't just work with our own downline. Um, we do a lot of Thrive Army, as you can tell. Um, so that said, we're going to wrap it up. I'm going to stop recording.